Hefner for the Rocky Weaver. Members of this Masonic Grand Lodge, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen all. For the past several years of my life, I have wondered whether or not I would be given the opportunity to one day stand before this very audience. It was always a curiosity of mine of what it might be like. And last year, when I officially became the State Master Counselor of Missouri de Malay, that wonder had become a reality. So for the past several months, I have been contemplating on how to describe to you the esteemed honor and privilege it would be to stand here and bring greetings from Missouri de Malay to the Freemasons of Missouri. After much prayer and deliberation, I have deemed that mission impossible. Just as it is impossible to completely comprehend the workings of our Father in Heaven, it is impossible for me to be able to put into words my feelings of admiration and appreciation I am feeling at this moment. So I simply cannot tell you how much you have honored me today, but I can tell you why. For he said, the things that are impossible with people are possible with God. My brothers, my name is Ryan Matthew Cockerham, and I am a Master Mason. I am a member of the Shrine, the Eastern Star, and the Scottish Rite, and I am a Demolay. And given that I am the son of a lawyer and math major, I consider myself a blessed critical thinker. In my opinion, the components and inner workings of the human mind are quite unfathomable, but nevertheless, I believe that through the grace of God, I have come to understand something about humanity. I consider the order of the Malay and Freemasonry a gift from God, for it is through the lessons and ideals of these two twin organizations that I have been shown the light. Given a deeper comprehension by Freemasonry, the seven cardinal virtues I grew up with from Demolay have shown me that light. True love of parents, a reverence of God, courtesy, comradeship, fidelity, cleanness, and patriotism. Now, my brothers, I know that those of you sitting in this room have a very similar list of ideals and principles you live by, but I ask you to consider this question. What are the ideals of the people who are not here? and not our brothers who just couldn't make it today, or even the people out there who have the same beliefs as us, but the ideals of the people who are working against our purpose. Dad Frank S. Land, the 33rd degree master mason and founder of the Order of the Malay, said that the purpose of the Order is to make God come alive So what are the ideals of the people, either knowingly or unknowingly, who are working against those teachings? I firmly believe that man is inherently good. Today's debate, in my eyes, isn't whether or not good triumphs over evil. It's not even whether or not good men outnumber evil men. What I think the question is, is how can we let, in today's world, the few men with evil ambitions like greed, power, and supremacy overtake the overwhelmingly majority of good men? I don't pretend to know that answer to that question, but there is a solution. Missouri de Malay is blessed to have Freemasons who know the severity of instilling our sacred principles in today's youth as early as possible. De Malay in Missouri is thriving more today than any other jurisdiction in the world and has been for the past several years, and I am convinced that it is not only because of the support that you Masons have for us, but it is because Masons like you have dedicated themselves and have devoted their time and efforts to becoming the Malay advisors, working with the young men, and truly serving the order. Missouri de Malay would not be where it is at today without these commitments, and the men making these commitments know how beneficial it is the Freemasonry and the world. It is because of these commitments you have made to the Malay that we have decided to give back. And for the past two years, the 
Missouri DMLA has raised over a quarter of a million dollars for Masonic Charities. Right, ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, the kids of DMLA have raised over $250,000 for Masonic Charities. Let me tell you about a chapter called Excelsior Chapter in Jackson, Missouri. Since four years ago, when that chapter was reinstituted, every single 18-year-old member of that DMLA chapter has become a Master Mason of that lodge. And it is because the Masons of that lodge are advisors of that chapter that they have a 100% rate of initiating DMLAs into Masons. And that's just a prime example of a chapter that is like that. It's like that all over Missouri today. Maybe it wasn't like that five years ago, or ten years ago, but it is like that today. But even though we are flourishing, we have yet to make a dent in the amount of eligible young men in Missouri. We have shared our seven cardinal virtues with only a fraction of a percent. My brothers, wouldn't it be great if the 50,000 Masons of Missouri pledged to bring in at least one man in the MLA, one young man? That would pretty much ensure the future of Missouri to have 50,000 new Masons. One way or another, we must rise as a family out of the shadows and into the light to combat the people that oppose our holy principles. And the best way to do that lies within the youth of our nation, and that is to make good young men. Today's youth, in my opinion, are assaulted with glorified images of sex, drugs, violence, and alcohol. At an early age, kids are taught to disobey their parents and spit on the name of God because of the sick minds of the elite few who control the windows of knowledge. Instead of avoiding the evils of temptation, kids are taught to embrace it because the feel-good lifestyle is cooler than a holy one. Because we live in a world where there is a declining attention to God and a public attempt to thwart the righteousness that founded this country, because we are no longer able to show you a man by showing you his friends, because people with the ideals that contradict God's plan work tirelessly into the night while you sleep, because Freemasonry is not a household name, not because it withered away, but because there was a purpose to destroy good, because we are Freemasons, we must make the course of our children's future by starting with the youth. Ladies and gentlemen, I could stand up here for hours and days telling you about the subtle nuances of why we are where we are today. But suffice it to say that only one thing matters. Good shall prevail. It is just an untimely and unfortunate circumstance that evil holds more resources in today's world. But we must start with the youth, because that's the tipping point, adolescence. Thank you, my brothers. Thank you.